And now, for parts unknown, no indeed now production brings you to the most riveting 10 minutes in your young, impressionable lives. It's the 10 Minute Thrill! Here's your host, Joe Cochran! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 10 Minute Drill. I'm your host, Joe Compton, and thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. We have another team taking on the great 10 Minute Drill here, and I can't say enough about this team. This is the whole idea of the show. This is kind of a makeshift team that was brought together during the This Week in Indies roundtable. They were part of the roundtable experience, and then they wanted to take on the drill, and they did so together. And thus, they are the one and only page turners. And uh, we'll see if they can turn the page on the Valkyries and move into first place and take over the lead spot. Uh, it's going to be a tall task, but we'll see what happens here momentarily. But first, let's get the rules and meet the team, and then play the game. So quickly, here are the rules and the scoring of the 10-minute drill. 10-minute drill is 15 questions or 10 minutes, whichever comes first. Players will take alternate turns, answering one question, and then... The next question comes out only after everybody has answered. A player can pass, but they can only pass once within the game, so they have to use it wisely. If they use the pass, but cannot come up with an answer, the clocks keep on running until they answer. The tiebreaker for the scoring goes like this. It is the Fastest finish time versus the most questions answered versus the least amount of passes. So if you all, if you finish the 15 questions, your fastest time will be the leader. If nobody has ever finished the 15 questions and you get to the 10 minutes, then the ones who have answered the question the most will be the leader. And thus, if nobody, if there's still a tie after questions answered, then the team that has used the least passes. Now, if there is an uber three-way tie and everything is equal, then we go by the average answer time of each player. If by some happenstance there's still a tie, well then Armageddon has occurred and you all need to run. But that is how the 10 minute drill goes. Pretty simple. Hi everyone, I'm Karina Gantis. I'm a prolific author of 13 titles. I'm a YouTuber. I have my own radio show and I also run Author Assist, which helps uh, authors with uh, services, uh, promotion and marketing. Hello, I'm Adam Johnson. Um, I do a lot of personal development and things like that. I do a lot of writing as well. And I'm also working with uh, Rhetoric Askew Publishing on some new projects. I'm happy to be here. Hi, I'm A. Rose Mapstone. I'm the author of the upcoming series, Ananda. I'm also an astrologer and a Reiki master. Hi, I'm Marissa Frosch, I'm founder of Raven Squirrel Publishing, and I'm a book coach, which includes book launch and editing. And I'm also an award-winning author under the name Cameron J. Quinn. All right, so I have 10 minutes on the clock. Okay. All right, are we all ready? Come on, people. Yes. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Karina, the most ambitious deadline you've ever had to set for yourself in completing any project? Um, I had to do a flash fiction for my radio show, and I had three days to write it. Nice. Adam? Um, when I wrote an anthology for Rhetoric Askew, I wrote it in three days to hit the deadline. Awesome. A? Eh? NaNoWriMo for my novel <laughs> last year. That is, that is the premium one. Marissa? Uh, mine was writing 24,000 words in a week. I knew about the deadline six months in advance, but changed what I was working on a week before it was due. Oh. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. 
All right. All right, Marissa, the series, either in books, movies, or TV, you would love to write for and continue on? Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Nice. Hey. Mm -hmm. The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Nice. Adam? Harry Potter, for sure. <laughs> wow, okay. Karina? I'm going to go with Angel. With Angel? Yeah. Right, nice. I'm, a, I'm a vampire. I love my vampires. <laughs> All right, Karina, the hardest part about the editing process of write, in writing? Being told what to do. Nice. Adam? <laughs> uh, rewriting and just going over it and redoing it a thousand times. Nice. A? For me personally, I think cutting is hard or adding on in any like huge length. Nice. Marissa? For me, it's the part where I hate the project. <laughs> 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 Too real. <laughs> All right, Marissa, the best cliffhanger ever. Oh, um, uh oh, the best cliffhanger ever. I don't know. You can pass. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. just because I'm. You can pass. Yeah. Okay. A. I'm going to say, generally speaking, like I don't have a specific example, but generally speaking, something where the audience can then fill it in in any way that they want. Is that too general or is that? Like the end of The Sopranos kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> oh, that would have been very terrible. <laughs> Adam? Um, it wasn't intended to be a cliffhanger, but the, the TV show Heroes, it got canceled when it got so oh, yeah. good, and I'm still pissed about it to this day. So. <laughs> That was the writer's strike. <laughs> Karina? Uh -oh. Thanks. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Karina. You could eat anywhere for free for one night. Where are you going? If, if you, in, you don't have to worry about your health or your weight or anything. You just you can go and Chinese eat Chinese buffet, eat all you want. Chinese <laughs> buffet, eat all Adam? you want. I love China buffets, but I'd have to say uh, Gordon Ramsay's steak. Nice. A? Uh, hi hibachi. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a great Italian place. It, it's, um, I can't remember the name of it, but Italian. Nice. All right, Marissa, <laughs> the prettiest thing about being a human being? Kindness. Nice. Aww. A? Um, honesty? All right. Adam? Community. Nice. Mm. Karina? Um, personality. Nice. All right, Karina, the prettiest thing about being a writer? The prettiest thing about being a writer is to be able to call yourself a published author. Nice. <laughs> Adam? Very good. Um, sharing your ideas with the world. Nice. A? Mm. Poetic language. Nice. Marissa? Uh, being able to influence people in a positive mm. way. Nice. All right. If you could choose, Marissa, if you could choose only one social media site online to get your message out, what would you choose? <laughs> um, Instagram. All right. A? Facebook. All right, Adam. Twitter. All right, Karina. Facebook. All right, all right, Karina. Complete this. Complete this sentence. Storytelling is blank. Storytelling is awesome. Nice, Adam. Um, uh, crucial to human development. Nice, eh? Hmm. Storytelling is mystical. Awesome. Marissa? Storytelling is fun. Great. That's awesome. All right, Marissa. Freshly squeezed juice, freshly brewed coffee or tea, or freshly poured from the tap beer? Beer. Nice. A? Tea. Adam? Definitely coffee. Nice. Karina? <laughs> tea. All right. Karina, when you have creative momentum, do you write it to exhaustion? Figure it out. Figure out how you got to where you got to to begin with, or take the opportunity to do multiple projects at once. 
You you write. You write until you you can't write anymore. All right, Adam. Yeah, right on the single topic. I used to try and do multiple, but it doesn't work for me. Okay. Eh? Yeah, same. Focusing on one thing. Nice. Where's that? I like to bounce around, but I'm not going to say that it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marissa, you, what do you believe in more, your heart, your gut, or your soul? My soul. Nice. Eh? My soul. Adam? I'd say soul, yeah. Karina? My gut. Nice. All right, Karina, do you think you can be taught how to be a good writer, or is it something you're born with? I think it's something you're born with. Adam? I think you're born with it, but I also believe that any skill can be developed by anyone. So I think anyone could develop the skill with enough time and effort. Nice. Eh? Yes, I agree. It might just be harder if you're learning how to do it, but some people are also born with it. So both. Nice. Marissa? I'm the same. I think some people have a natural knack for it, but it can also be taught. All right, Marissa, what do you really use your word counts for? Um, mostly for sprints. I don't really, yeah, that's just how I count sprints. A? Same goal planning structure. Adam? Yep. Just planning the project. If it's a long, longer novel, I know I got to shoot for more words. <laughs> All right, um, what, um, putting it upon, um, Kindle, what, uh, the word count is. Nice. All right, Karina. Do you think in five years Amazon will be unseated as the market share winner? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, Adam? I also hope so, but I'm not sure. We'll see where, where it goes. All right, A? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and Marissa? Uh, hopeful, but not optimistic. And there you go. You guys just finished 15 questions. Oh, my gosh. I'm so mad that I passed. I couldn't think of a single cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tricky one. <laughs> oh. And you guys did so. You ready? You ready? Don't tell me to read. Yes, yes, yes. What do we need to be? Yeah, you guys are the new leaders. You oh, did it yeah. in one second. How did I'm do so it? mad that I passed. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> what? Yeah, eight Sorry, minutes and one time? second. It was eight it, minutes. What's left is one fifty nine. So that's eight minutes. Wow. And one second, so. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well done, good, people. Right? Yeah. Page yeah, turners. The other last one. What was the other one? Eight thirty something. <laughs> All I have to say is, here I go, out on the show again, here I go, up on that stage, here I go, playing the star again, here we go, we have a new leader, turn the page, yes, the page turners have done it, wow, what an impressive performance, it just, it, it was amazing how focused they were, they were driven, I mean, they came in knowing what they had to accomplish and accomplished it. I mean, they really talked to each other and they psyched each other up. They were, they were very, very, you know, on point and they got that momentum. And I think that's the key to this game is grabbing that momentum and writing it. And they did just that. They were fast. They were slick. Uh, they were even upset that they had one pass in the game. Uh, that's how, much they wanted to play the, the, this game and, and be perfect at it. And, and they did such an amazing job. And uh, I have to say uh, to my friends, the Valkyries, uh, it was an incredible run. I didn't think it was possible to unseat you ladies, but uh, you got to give it, you got to tip your hat to the pastures. I mean, they play a, a, a beautiful game. It is going to be a fun run to the end we've got a few more teams here to compete and we'll see i mean 
wow, it, I don't know if there's much room to to, to talk this. Uh, I didn't think the Valkyries were going to be touched, and here we go. Now we have a clear front runner in the page turners too, who have done just that. So anything's possible, and we'll see what next week's team brings us, who we get, and uh, how we get there, and. We'll have to see how uh, everything goes. And uh, thank you to everybody. Thank you to the page turners. And remember that it's always time to go in now. And with that, we will see you next time. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Let me ask you this. What was the hardest question for you? The cliffhanger one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Was that the hardest for everybody? I think so, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I had a decent answer for it pretty quick, but <clears throat> I don't know. That was probably one That's of the hardest. That's all ones. heart and gut. I, I ha- really had to think about that one. Yeah. This is ironic. <laughs> <laughs>